Yo, what up? It's Moses Gang. Now, I know I did a Like It or Not episode 18 a little bit earlier, but that was a solo dolo episode. And um, because my cousin was turning up uh, for his birthday yesterday, I want you to leave in the comments, man, on YouTube, my YouTube family. Tell Cadillac Daddy uh, a happy birthday. He didn't have connection a little bit earlier. Um, he was not uh, able to, to, to join us on the, on the pod. Hold on for two seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. He was not able to join us, but he is available right now. He's driving, so we only have audio. We don't have any visual. What's up, Robert? So I did want to cover that. We are going to be discussing um, some of the same topics, if not all of the topics that we discussed a little bit earlier, because I did want to get his take on it. And um, we, I didn't find any more topics because I didn't plan on coming back live. I thought we would just call it a day and just do it next week. But because of dedication and commitment and integrity, my cousin does want to come on here and contribute his... Uh, his thoughts and opinions on the topics that we had discussed um, a little bit earlier, man. Even though I was rocking by myself, I mean, I think it was a pretty, uh, pretty successful pod, man. But I've been doing this for years, so I didn't have any, I didn't have any qualms with um, go ahead and having to do it myself. Waiting for him to, I accepted it, so we're just waiting. Um, I've been having issues as far as switching from Wi-Fi to my own personal phone. So if you have any connection problems, just know that is the problem, and I'll just turn off the Wi-Fi. What's up, man? Uh, I can't hear you. What's up, man? What's up, Shana? Yeah, I think that, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Yeah, man, how was your birthday weekend? That's still the weekend, but you know what I mean. Oh, man, we can't hear you, bro. Oh, it's saying you got a bad connection. Chilling, chilling. I do want to apologize for my facial hair, like I said. I just moved and I could not find my clippers and those are some $50 ass clippers and the only place I can get some clippers is some expensive ass store. They get, I'm gonna keep my money though and y'all can just bury it. But um, so the first topic you wanted to talk about, uh, LA Truth or LA Truth? LA Truth, yes. Uh, pretty much the truth, the truth or however you want to call it. But yeah, he, um, Recently, was going through a um the situation with his love um baby mama wife or whatever she is the female of his life going going through some things with her or whatever. Then you know pretty much this week you know then use the to take they um pretty much disregarded her off like cast away to the side and just said at least I got the bag. And when did the bag, you know, uh, replace a female's work? Like, when the bag becomes higher than the female? And then there's a Well, let me ask you two things. What does he do? Is he a YouTuber, a rapper? Um, he, he's, um, he's like, I, 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 can, I, I just know he's um, into some social, social media, maybe a rapper. I don't really know what he does. But he, so he's yeah. an influencer yes, yes. personality. He's, he's some type of celebrity. He has celebrity status. That's all I know. I don't know exactly what he does. Yes, he's a YouTuber. Yes, right, he's, a, he's a YouTuber. Uh, your... I just gotta confirm that he's a YouTuber. I think I, I think I heard it, dude, before. So to answer your question, uh, Shauna, what we do is. We just talk about current events, any topics that we find interesting, whether it be celebrity celebrity topics or news, anything pretty much. For example, I didn't want to write it down because I don't really want to talk about it too much. 
but all those kids that died RIP to them and um I think it was South Korea or some something, something like that. I don't I don't have that information because I don't personally want to talk about that. Right, but I don't want to talk about no kids that this is a social media influencer, bro. Yeah, I'll say I don't want to uh, talk about the kids or definitely with kids at all. Hell you no, you hell about no, that? I don't want to. <laughs> no, nah, they were eighty percent of them were twenty and thirty, and only four teenagers. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. But it, out of a hundred and fifty people who died, um, <laughs> four of them were that's teenagers. The rest were twenties and thirties uh, and up. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you have to think about this, bro. This dude is probably younger than me, which means he grew up on the internet, right? These people who grew up on the internet that's constantly that grew up on the internet, let's just leave it at that. They have more they're more prone to personality disorders. The main one being narcissism, right? Just being just on a, a normal level, like when you're on the internet, especially you, you think you're a little celebrity, your entitlement is bigger and you have like less emotions towards human beings in general, bro. So, of course, a nigga like that will put materials over a female. Now, whether if it's, if it's his baby mama, okay, that's horrible. If it's just some chick, that's whatever, bro. Unless they've been together for some years, which I don't know. If it was just, you know what I'm saying, a one night stand, I get it. But if you're just talking about kids with somebody, you know, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be engaged with, and then the kids are going to be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I feel like I know who you're talking about. A light skinned dude, and he's like, yeah, really yeah. Yeah, 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 I know that dude. He acts like he doesn't have a real personality, and people who act like that don't usually have a lot of character. Maybe his, maybe, maybe his deal Plus, wasn't, you know, wasn't in his right. life, you know? You know what I'm saying? So maybe that has something to do. <laughs> if you don't have any, if you don't have any reference of, yeah, of course, bro. If you don't have any reference and you just, you just got your mom all day, nigga. Of course, like. You don't know how to treat a woman for real. You see her rotating niggas. You see all kind of niggas in your crib, nigga. That's what you turn into. That's why I've only been in two relationships. I've only seen my mom date two people my whole life. In 30 years. She's, she was with Robert for 10 years, and she was with Kermit for seven. Like Out of 17 years, I've only seen her around two niggas. Besides my dad, I never even seen her with my dad. They broke up before I was born. But as far as that, I mean, all the all the deep emotional shit. If they have that much depth to their emotions, I mean, if they have that much depth to their relationship, bro, then that means they they've already come to a point because they've been fighting all these years and that shit built up and now this nigga's like, hold on, I don't even need you. Who are you again? You're LA Latrue you're Latrue's boyfriend. I'm not your girlfriend. People know you through me. They don't know me through you. And I'm the one with the bag. That's what you start thinking about yourself, bro. If you get famous right now, I'm not trying to be start anything. If I get famous right now, my baby mama is going to be Aaron Moses' baby mama. They're not going to say Ali's boyfriend. They're going to call her my baby mama. And unless she becomes bigger than me or richer than me somehow, she's going to be my baby mama. She's not even going to have a name. That's just how it is. It could be like that. It's not even like that for females because we know Stepman. We know Oprah and we know Stepman. We know Stepman because of Oprah, but I know his first name. Right. So that's why he's 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 feeling himself. But he's gonna do that. She was probably I don't know. If she was good to him. I don't know what they what they've been through. I don't know their level of bond. But if he keeps doing that, bro, then nobody's gonna fuck with him. And he probably is doing that because nobody fucks with him already. So he's like, I might as well buy a friend. If you keep, if you keep getting on my nerves, I will pay somebody to be around me that will shut the fuck up. And stop nagging me about shit, cause they love me. 
That that ain't that ain't really well. They love you for what you got, not what you, not who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's. A, <laughs> No, no, no! no I'm, 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 hold on! I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying for whatever female he's he get after her, they gonna love what he got, not because of what he is. You know what I'm saying? Not who he is. It's what you have. But I already know you got. You know, even if it's just internet, you know, famous. Like I know I can get two, and I get, and I can get um, you know, so I can get, I can get twenty thousand followers or something like that, just because I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Yeah, Bro, so it might not ahead, be necessarily she, you know, he gonna, you know, trick off the money on her. And I'm just saying, you know, she gonna get a little 15, 20 minutes of fame. Every girl he come across to now, that's how they want that little piece of fame. And it's, it's, it's dumb because I don't want a bitch that knows I'm famous before I'm famous. I mean, after I'm famous, now he can. Now the only thing he could do is date somebody on his level, which that's a weird. That's a weird dynamic, bro. Unless she genuinely really cares for this dude, which we see your per we see your character. Unless she genuinely cares for this dude, it's gonna be contractual, and she's gonna be using you for some kind of clout, like you said. You have to get somebody now that's an Instagram model or another influencer and match their fans. And you want to, so you know they're not using you, which that's a weird dynamic from the jump, bro. Now, it's really going to be True City or a power couple dynamic. I feel bad for the man in a way, but you, you know what I'm saying? You. You made that big, gotta lay in it. You know, you made that big, gotta lay in it now. Fuck it. I feel bad for him because he can't really bond with another person like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he has some kind of trauma. He has some kind of issues where you put materials over people, then you're already you already lost in life. Unless you get some kind of prayer relationship with God, or you get some kind of therapy. You can't really learn how to love like that. Like you need somebody to heal your wounds as a grown ass man. You need therapy, but whatever, man. Definitely. So I've seen it. Shit. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. But I didn't it wasn't necessarily that I was just so rich and famous, I didn't want to be around this person. It was that I didn't love that person. Like, R. Kelly's wife doesn't love him, or didn't love him, his ex-wife. If somebody truly loves you, they're not going to let you go through life and not know how to read, bro. That was obviously for the materials. She, she, because she, 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 my girlfriend doesn't she allow tried me to, to teach him. It was just so, like, it was just so hard for him, or whatever. It's a whole thing with R. Kelly. That's a whole different, that's a whole different topic. That's a whole different topic. <laughs> I'm saying, like, okay, you have a learning disability. A lot of people do, bro. Probably but, but, 20% but, of people do But she, do a she lot, didn't love right? him in a way that, let me read your contract. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let me take care of what needs to really be taken care of. Make sure this, this, this you know what I'm saying, this gravy chain going to continue to run in even when we old. You know what I'm saying? Even when we old and dead. <laughs> That's what I've been like, dude. Put me through law school. You don't know. You don't. You are just so hell bent on being retarded. Then you don't want to get an LD teacher and t and learn teach yourself how to read. Fine. Okay. Whatever. You're grown. You're R. Kelly. You don't need to know. How. Let me teach me. Put me through school so I can learn this legal jargon, and I will do the motherfucking contracts. But I can't just be in the motherfucking dark, bro. Like fuck yeah, all of that. She still got that little house in Olympia. Uh, Universe. I just wrote Olympia past Fields, it. Yes. <laughs> I just wrote past it. Olympia Fields, right, right. She's still staying in that Ooh. bitch. So she knew something. She got. You see how she didn't fumble her fifty <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> Go, yeah, she, yeah. she 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 got whatever. Honestly, that's all she wanted was the house, money, and new nigga. <laughs> Let me get that baby up out you, partner. She, she, she didn't care about the. She she really didn't, and that's the thing. 
But you cannot care about. You can't convince me that you care about a motherfucker if that situation occurs, bro. She knew she was just the cover up. <laughs> She, 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 was she, 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 she was a beard. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah. You know what that is, right? But but yeah. That's them Chicago bitches, man. Everybody in Chicago, like, watch out. That's that's not, not a time for this not a time for discussion because you know I just you know I'm just in the city. You know I was just in the city. And yes, Chicago females is a lot different than any women. They whole mentality mentality is different and everything. You know, I'm especially I'm dealing with, you know, females from you know the East Coast. You know, especially I'm, you know, kind of talking to this girl from New York. You know, and stuff like that. Then I, you know, I'm used to, you know, I was, you know, with a, a little chick from Ohio for eight or nine years as well. But it's just a whole, you know, and in, in dating like multiple females before before that before that whole eight eight or nine year relationship. But um. Yeah, like I like I getting off subject, but Chicago women is really different. They they have their own different mentality. They really just they really just want a lifestyle where I don't have to work. If I can if I can do anything and be with a dude and I don't have to work, that's what they in for. They in it for themselves. No, I'm not they, saying that. I'm not saying that. That's, that's not, it's not right? your instinct, but they they so but, grimy and grind hard to get it. That's the, that's what I'm trying to say. The, and, yeah. You know, some females they be like, I work until I, you know, hopefully I can find the right guy that I don't have to work. You know what I'm saying? But no, they would actually go after yeah. the guy to make sure they don't have to work. They would actually, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a different process. That's why the murder rate is so high in Chicago, because these lazy ass. <laughs> look, you know what? I'm not gonna go there, but. These niggas start grinding from a very young age because of these women and this mentality. And when you grind and you're young like that, of course you're going to kill. you're going to kill. You're going to kill. What could we do about the murder rate? More jobs? No, nigga. No. No, not that. Not that. But okay, I do want to say this last thing about this topic, and then I want to move. Back. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the topic. Um, should everybody from Chicago? Everybody from Chicago came from the South at some point during the, it was with the great migration. Everybody from Chicago is from Georgia, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, Alabama, Louisiana. So when you have that mentality, just like LA, when you have that mentality, the females are going to think a certain way, but then you add on the city life and everything's fast and shiny. That's not a good combination. That's why out here they're like, oh, you're not a real man if you don't pay all the bills. And I'm like, bro, I grew up in a family with predominantly females, and all of them went to college, and they worked hard, and they had the I don't need no man mentalities. So when I'm seeing women pay their own bills, and I come around here, and everybody has this old school ass mentality, I'm looking at you like a simp. It took me a long time to not look down on that mentality. Like, nigga, you pay all the bills and she doesn't even, okay, she doesn't clean up and she doesn't take care of the kids. What the right, fuck is she like, And you think that's just so raw, that's so masculine, that's so real, nigga. Like, I'm outside killing people and selling drugs all day and my girl doesn't have to lift a finger. Like, nigga, what the fuck? You better bag some of this work, girl. You better bag some of this work. You better put that shit on the scale. <laughs> I'm so exactly. serious. You better do something. You better ha have this pistol real quick. What? You want me to get rid of a pistol? Yes, bitch. I just shot somebody with it. Get rid of um. You, you doing something? Nigga, that's some shit my girl would do. But I heard, I'm like, bro, I was with this one chick, and I was like, let me. I'm gonna be real with you. I do this. If I go to prison, how long are you gonna wait for me? This bitch said thirty days. Thirty days? You want me to spend all this gold money on you? You want me to spend all this motherfucking dope money on you, and I'm walking around driving around with guns and shit, and I'm paying your bills, I'm paying your mom's bills, and you only wait for me for 30 days? What the fuck? 
I just bought you a motherfucking Michael Kors wallet, <laughs> bitch. Give me my shit back there, because you're not about to do play me like that. Luckily, I've never been to prison or anything, but 30 days, you, oh, sna- that, guess where she was from, exactly. <laughs> She's probably from the she's probably from the south side, ain't she? She was from the fucking south side. Okay. <laughs> Family all through the Ickies and shit. Uh, I love the women from the Ickies, though. I ain't gonna lie. Got, she was from the Project Park. walking in, and that, that ass bouncing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, she was from the low end. I love you. Shout out oh, to the shout out to everybody on Forty Seven Vincent's. 44th and tracks. <laughs> oh, oh, that, you know, get, get, a, get a shout out to the fans. I don't get, a special shout out to the girl for the low end. Her name is Stacy. Shout out to you, baby. Stacy, <laughs> I don't know. St- I heard of Stacy. But okay, speaking of, since we are speaking about Chicago, let's go to this next topic. This is really more of an Atlanta topic. But the Atlanta government, with their grimy ass, actually, look, I don't want to lead you, but the Atlanta government announced that had King Von still been alive, they would have indicted him for a shooting that occurred in 2019. What do you think about that? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Can yeah. you hear me? All right, cool. Yeah. So, um, like, uh, yeah, I can hear you. You know what? It's it, it's kind of it kind of seems like lazy police work. Let's just let's just pin a murder on somebody that's already dead. That's what it seemed like to me. That's that's what it seemed like to me, cause, cause uh, at, the, yeah. at the time, King Von, at the time of the um murder or whatever, in that little time frame, King Von was already big and and everything. He had to he had to lift a finger for being on the streets or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So why he had to kill somebody? He don't have to prove anything at that point. You know what I'm saying? His name speaks for himself. You know, you don't got to prove that he a street dude. Everybody know who he is and that thing. So at that time, why he had to kill somebody? He's too busy getting a bag at that point. And you know what I'm saying? He's too busy getting a bag and he's promoting his own. You know what I'm saying? He's promoting something that's bigger than that street life. So I don't get why they trying to say this and that. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, I will get. I'll give you that explanation, man. Because I was just in Atlanta. I was just in Atlanta for almost a year, right? And I grew up there. So, what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, "Oh yeah, people come down here um, from different states, come up, and they try to, they just run a fucking muck." And it's mostly the celebrities. They come down here and they fund these little street gangs and they wild the fuck out and they do the work themselves. So they were saying that because King Von has this long record, he just, Chicago PD just announced that they suspected him of two more bodies. Of KI, I don't know if you heard of KI, and then um, another guy. But I at the end of the him, day, but it, ain't, um, it ain't the same as like, all right, we actually really gonna say King Von did it, unlike um, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? They did. CPD said he would have been indicted. Yeah. They would have went after him and took him under arrest. Like I said, that still off. sound like more, you know, lazy police work to me. But that's what that's what these that's what that's what it all really come down to, though. Anyway, they want they you know, be honest with you. That's a, that's what most of police do anyway. Let's let's put a let's put a body on somebody that's already dead, or matter of fact, let's let an innocent person because that was. An innocent dude, though, because we don't right. know who the fuck did it. And but he, oh shit, oh shit, he, he just happened to be in the area. He don't have an alibi. Besides this bullshit, you by yourself. Thank you. We can easily, we can ease your race. You don't get no time stamp, no nothing. You just happen to be in the area walking, listening to music because you want to clear your head. You going? 
you got know some, what they uh, do too, bro. Scratchy, to they, oh yeah, I was at work or I was at school. Yeah, and I'm just getting off, you know, walking or whatever. I just happened. To... No, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, so it's it's a lot of that. Matter of fact, it was a whole I forget what um what channel it was, but people know it was a whole little um TV series um um before the uh, pandemic about people falsely accused and finally getting free from being falsely accused for murders and yeah okay yeah. You, you, on YouTube. YouTube and it was on it was on cable television too but you know what I'm talking about you okay you, I think it was like Court TV, TV. Yeah, it was, it was, it was on one of, I just know it was on one of those dr- um, crime drama shows it was that or you know what I'm saying but they do what is that, Discovery, you know, Discovery TV or whatever, whatever one of those, you know, networks. I know it's one of them. <laughs> and it's so fucked up. They have enough of those to be able to make a whole series. No, it's so many of them. I, I can name, I, I know, I know one guy right now personally <coughs> that I, I believe that didn't do it. Some people say, oh, he. I know a nigga I was in jail with. So, so it's, it's like, man. From 91st and Wentworth, yeah, 93rd so, and Wentworth. Shout out to the BDs and TDs. You know, we still we still honor them in a way because they're still family. But um, yeah, like uh, like I was saying, it's like it's it's a, it's a lot. Um, because that's because he had he had a he had a um he had a he had a he had a past. You know, like we all do have a past rank or whatever, whatever it is, something that. And he was better his better his life up or anything. He just happened to he just happened to be somewhere on the wrong day. They was they was looking into another suspect and just find out this dude lived down the street because you know that's all we that's at the time that's all he could for, afford is this apartment in that neighborhood. That's all he could afford at the time. You know he he better his life got a new got a nice little job and was trying to. Almost move out the neighborhood. He was almost about to move out the neighborhood. He was, he was looking into a house in um, Bleacher um, at the time too. He was thinking about moving to Bleacher. You know, getting a house out there. He's he's coming up. In Michigan. Uh, yeah. He was, he was, he was, he was, like I said, he was, he was getting a house in that day. He was trying to do big things, but. Um, <laughs> No, I meant you, Beecher, Michigan. He was yeah. trying to move to Beecher, Michigan. That's why I tell everybody you got to get some kind of security cameras so you can be, like my cousin said, very important. Time fucking stamp. And you have to have it linked to multiple sources because what they do is you can say, I was at work, check the cameras. They bring, the, oh, we lost the tape in the process during transport. They did that goofy ass shit to me. They lost the they lost the tape, um, at tra- during transport. The niggas said they clocked it in at court, but somehow, from across the motherfucking street, from evidence, did somebody lost- drop it? What happened to it? How you? How you- I know. Nigga. How you lose what something? The that- fuck? <laughs> Is, did somebody drop it the highway? You lost the tape. No, bro. This is Lake County, Illinois, bro. Waukegan. The evidence, the police department, and the evidence room is across the street. I know that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I'm, they I'm lost like, it. I'm like, how? I'm like, how? Did, 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 did somebody pick it up and return it? Because if they, they, like, it's me, like bro. what you do is just throw it in the trash. What you, do, you really just throw it in the trash. I know you what you did. You threw it in the trash. You said this, y'all, y'all came up had a meeting. This black man is going to jail. He's just gonna throw all the. I have Mr. Proof is innocent in the trash. It was a DUI, and it was my lawyer uh, subpoenaed the tape or whatever because I said I was not guilty. I passed the field sobriety test, and I wasn't going to blow. They lost my fucking evidence, and I had to plead guilty. But they gave me, they gave me the... Uh, they gave me the opportunity to plead guilty because it was their fault and they lost the tape. Nigga, just throw it they out. I wanted to do that. That's they wanted to do that. They they was hoping you take take their plea deal and and make it everybody saying 
Like they, like they one that you was already guilty. It was a sweet deal though, because they said if I, if I um, successfully completed probation, they would throw it off, and I wouldn't have that on yeah. my record at all. And if I paid two thousand dollars, then I can get it taken off the internet, and it won't be public record. But nigga, you should just do it out at the, at the beginning. Oh, you lost the motherfucking tape. Fuck all of that, bro. See, that's why this is in 2010. I don't have the technology to record myself. Had I had the technology to record myself from the car, my own evidence, it would have been cool. Or if I had one of them cams on my car. That's why cameras are imperative, bro. I don't, this shit changed the whole game. Everybody's not only just making money from doing podcasts. And relieving stress, and but they're documenting themselves to protect their own rights. Take full advantage of these technologies. Don't just go on TikTok shaking ass and shit and pranking your fucking mom. Fucking protect your ass out here in these streets, man. Sure, you be. If you feel like you need to record it, record it. You be, you be sitting out fucking Rikers on the on the on the murder charge you didn't do because. You don't have the right time stamp or nothing, or you got like you say no video evidence of saying this is who you at. So they place you where they want you to place. Oh, see, this is what happened with BD Frank, bro. The police uh came to uh he was hanging out at the trap after he just got out of jail. I don't know why. He was hanging out at the trap. They kicked the door in. He was sitting on the couch where it was a toy 357 house full of dope and they tried to say that he did the armed robbery uh one of the teenagers actually admitted to doing the armed robbery but they were trying to say he lived there so they were going to charge him with all the dope too and he didn't have access to the people's lease agreement and he didn't have access to his landlord's lease agreement either so he had to stay in jail for almost a year so but he's trying to get don't go to people's motherfucking houses if you don't have a lease agreement. I don't know, bro. What? No, say that. Yeah, again, I'm bro. saying how you don't. I, I'm saying on his for his own landlord, right? He don't have a lease agreement. You know what I'm saying? Where he stayed, like was he? Like he was. He he didn't have access to his landlord. He didn't know who to call on the outside to get access to his landlord. He gave his his lawyer. Um. He signed over his property to his lawyer so he could get the number, uh, his, uh, the landlord's number out of his phone. But it just took him, I, I don't yeah, know. Somebody, somebody. It was just hard to get in touch with his landlord, and he had to get a subpoena and, for the and, lease and get the permission and sign and all these letters. he can't trust every lawyer. Some of these lawyers actually best friends with the um, DA and all that. So, you know, they, they go golfing and got shit. So you can't trust these motherfuckers either. That's the lawyer you want. At the same time, sure. you, 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 don't, you don't want the you don't want the um the lawyer to be friends with the prosecutor. What are you talking about, Doc? What are you talking about? Because they'll cooperate, and then the prosecutor can coerce the judge even more. If the if your lawyer and your judge don't like each other, that's bad, bro. If they don't know each other, that's neutral because they see that your lawyer is a is a real lawyer and not a and not a public pretender but at the end of the day no i want my lawyer to be best friends or whatever i don't have a lawyer i don't have a judge i'm not a criminal but when i was in the, when i was doing my thing and i saw my judge walk in laughing and said hi to my lawyer i was like yes i'm going home no, my lawyer was best friends with my, with my judge they had lunch uh, every the lawyer the lawyer i had he he ain't, he ain't like my judge at all. The judge didn't like him, and I and I had to do no time, cause my lawyer, uh, cause you know what I'm saying, my, my lawyer went up to him and everything. Man, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You running from the police or something? Uh, that was an ambulance. I live in a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> oh my God. But at the end of the day, uh. The King Von, the King Von, uh, posthumous indictments, uh, bullshit. Um, I think it's disrespectful to the families. Um, I know that you don't want celebrities to go to Atlanta and wild out and start their own games. But as I said in my first, uh, 
and my first video. Oh, no, isn't, 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 people isn't in gangs people already? People celebrities when they come. Isn't gangs already in Atlanta? So they still, We got Chicago but, and LA. But I'm just saying, there's gangs already there. So people don't be forming their own gangs. The gangs is already there. You just don't want to seem like the gangs is already there. <laughs> No, it's different, bro. It's different. So you got your own block. So it would be something like, the, the, like Twenty One Savage. They're the Twenty One Gang, right? And then their bloods on top of that. So it's their own. It's more for networking purposes to say you're a blood and connect with other bloods and shit. But they're Twenty One. They have their own gang, and then they have the um, umbrella. Like how that they. Really, Chicago copied off Atlanta in that way, but they have blocks, and then they get with an umbrella for more power and connections and network inside the city and outside the city, state to state. But um, they they throw up their own neighborhood, their own block, and they're a blood. But like I was saying in my other video, when people go to LA. They align themselves with the gangs that's already there. That's why they don't get in trouble out here like that. When the last time you heard a, a foreign celebrity from a different city getting in trouble in LA involved in some gang shit? Really nobody. Because they they know the politics or they they play with them a little bit more. They're more involved. People move to Atlanta with their own gang or start their own gang within a certain umbrella and they get in trouble. Like young thugs. Like future, hopefully, future affiliates are getting in trouble. But people go out to Atlanta and they don't politic with the locals. They try to start their own little thing. Out here, they pay people. They're like, hey, look, I know I'm not a pyro, but I need some kind of protection and connections and shit like that. And they don't get in trouble. They get other people to do it. They put the bag in the neighborhood. They circulate the bag away from them. So they don't have to do shit themselves, bro. People in Atlanta, they really, for real, will be rich and famous and still popping at people, bro. And get away with this somehow. Shut up. Shut up. All that shit about selling drugs and like, protect, they don't protect the bag in Atlanta, bro. All them niggas keep getting banged up. All of those niggas keep getting constantly, consistently locked the fuck up. And that's what they're trying to prove. I don't give a fuck how rich and famous you are. We will lock you up. Bullshit, bro. Nobody does that more than that. Niggas getting back. I'll take that back. New York. But that's because niggas in New York get rich and famous that's from New York and they stay there. And they keep doing the same dumb shit because they think it's too big for them to get caught up. But we got the next topic, man. This is a little bit disturbing. I just want to get that for a moment. So uh, there is a there is a high school in a small town. I don't want to name the town, and I don't want to name the high school. But it's a small town outside of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And for Spirit Week, they chose for one day to have a gender swap day. So it bestowed support for the school. All the little boys dressed like fucking girls. They were wearing dresses and leggings and shit. And all the little girls dressed like dudes. And they're wearing sweatpants and baggy jeans and fucking gym shorts and drawing on mustaches on their face. Some of these little dudes, once they extent of putting on makeup and putting draws under their shirt, as to appear, I mean, to appear as if they had, what? Um, it's, if you want to look for it, you can look for it on your own personal time. Oh, God. Oh, um, God. It sounds stupid. It sounds disturbing, stupid. though. It what sounds stupid. It's that it's a attention to you. It's a tension crowd. It's a Right, school colors. What what is that? Um, like ninety, seventies day, something like something like that. Yeah, wear wear a rock star on your shirt. Yeah. Wear a, whatever. Um, what is that? Um, like you said, school colors day, jersey day. You know, you wear a jersey to school. 
crazy glasses day. Yeah, wear your favorite. Oh, crazy hair day. You already said pajama day. They even another, had something. It was another uh, thing. Your no makeup day, where all the girls <laughs> from the school were no makeup. It, it was some day, you know. You know what I'm saying. It was, it was, it was, you know, then for the teachers, they had on, they had like jeans day or something, you know? The teachers can just wear whatever. Casual, yeah. You know, that, that the teacher had they love the casual day or whatever, because, you know, I went to school, you know, they had a, they had, even had a dress code for the teachers. So that was, it was, you know, well, laid back and shit. For school, so. <laughs> And they rewarded you for it. You you would get maybe extra credit, or you didn't have to do the homework assignment, or and you would be in the yearbook and shit like that. So it was rewarded. Showing school spirit, camaraderie, you know, bonding with you. <laughs> Good conversation started. Crazy socks day. But this, I think, is a little, not a little. Like I said, I did a full attention grab. I call it what it, I call it like I said. They did it for a century grand. Yeah. So I will say this. Now, I don't want to offend anybody. If you get offended, that's with you. But I want you to listen. I don't want you to use your emotions to listen. I want you to use your mind to listen. So little kids are little kids, whether they're a toddler or whether they're 16, 17. People learn through their environment and through trying it themselves, experimentation, right? And kids are just notorious for repeating what they see and what they hear because they're just creative, curious. Now, if somebody told me two things, right? If you wouldn't do it in public, then don't do it in private. If you're embarrassed for everybody to see it, then don't do it. Another thing he told me was that if you do something one time, it just makes it that much easier to do it a second time and a third time and if it, to become a part of your behavior. So I'm not saying that this gender swap day is going to turn anybody into a homosexual or a bisexual or a cross-dresser or a trans or whatever you want to call it. But... Because so many of those children had did it one time. You you see where I'm going? Yeah, with that? yeah. Hold on, real quick. And like I said, it's no, it's no, anything. No offense. No negativity. Positive energy to uh, any lifestyle that you live. But that's not a lifestyle I would encourage. I'm not saying that I would discourage it for an adult. But these are children, bro. They don't have a full brain to be able to make sound decisions when it comes to everything in life. I'm not saying I would encourage it to. I wouldn't encourage it for a child because they're children, bro. Whatever journey is going to be yours, I want it to happen naturally and authentically. Not because your school thinks stupid shit is a good idea. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I wouldn't encourage it because I don't do it myself. And I'm not going to discourage it for an adult because that's your life. And you obviously, hopefully, thought about the consequences and what the consequences, whether that be positive or negative. And that's your life. You're an adult. You're not my child. That's on you. At the end of the, at the end of the day, let the let the kids be kids, man. Yeah, they were having fun, but they didn't know what they were doing, though. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Now we did lose connection with Cadillac. We still have. Three more topics. I really, we there's really no more room to be speaking on that topic. Um, but at the end of the day, I want to thank you guys, especially my um, YouTube family for popping out. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment 
on your favorite topic or a topic that piqued your interest, I'm going to try to get Cadillac back in here or wait on him to see what's up. Hold up. He's trying to come back in. I think he's trying to come back in. If not, I don't know how long that was. That was probably a good 30 minutes. Let me see. He's driving right now, so just give him a couple, just give him a minute or two. If not, uh, I'll go back and talk about. So if you didn't know, guys, we touched on, I don't know this little boy's name. We touched on um, the L.A. Truth, the La Truth. It's probably L.A. Truth. I don't know. Um, a YouTuber that pretty much dumped his girlfriend for the money. I have to do the research on that myself because I don't know in what context. I don't know if there's more information on this story. Uh, and if there is something that's, like, really, uh, really overly interesting, then we will speak on that next week because I'm kind of curious now as far as the context and the reasoning behind him dumping his baby mama that he was engaged to because that's something that's really important. We, we, t we touched on a lot of good topics when it came to... Uh, that situation he's trying to reconnect right now we should be re back connected in less than a minute but because that is so common and just very important for us to understand this is the, the same type of stuff that R.I.P. Kevin Samuels was talking about man the same type of stuff this is the same thing that my mentor told me about the young the young Pharaoh situation that um and we all have to be careful with this supposedly young pharaoh started just treating his his uh baby mama bad worse the more famous he got number one i would have to say because young pharaoh was growing whether he was growing personality wise or character wise he was growing with his bag he was growing with his attention he was growing with his channel um, I did, let me see if I could send you the request, the invite. He was growing. And the fact of the matter is he was having more confidence about himself. So he wasn't responding to the same problems the same way that he would have did had he only had 50000 in his bank. He's not going to act the same that he has 50000 to 100000 And I don't look down or judge anybody because they change for the change necessarily or they change when they're growing i can't fault you for that because in a sense that's what you're supposed to do you're not supposed to respond to problems when you have fifty thousand in the bank compared to if you have two hundred thousand in the bank i'm gonna think you're a fucking weirdo okay at the end of the day she was doing her little weird shit that she was doing or maybe she was just being a woman maybe she was just nagging him but because he was getting richer and more attention and more successful he was looking at her like first of all i only had you around me because i was poor i only had you around me because i didn't have clout like that if i was where i wanted to be i wouldn't even know you if i was where i wanted to be in life when I met you, you would be a faded memory. And the fact that you're acting this entitled and you're acting like I'm the same person is very irritating to me because I could replace you with the person that I was fantasizing about when I was this broke, when I first met you. And you're acting as if you're on my level when I surpassed you astronomically. So in that sense, I can understand. You're talking to a nigga that's worth $2.5 million. Like I said. 
necessarily that type of person, but at the end of the day, I can't say that because I haven't. I'm not a young pharaoh. I'm not. On, I'm not on a certain level. I don't even want to say young pharaoh, but I'm not in that position to be like, you know what I mean. I'm not saying that I just gotta stick with what I can get at this point, but that's typically what people do. I don't know why it's saying you're unable to join. I don't have any problems with making a part two at all. I just have to change how I'm wearing my hats. What the fuck? I'm tweaking. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to just have to make a part two. Um, sometimes Instagram tweaks like that. But uh, yeah, man, this is part one. Turn up, man. This part two is going to be even more fire. Peace.